Hi, this is Dr. Anna, and today we're here with Paula from Apex Dental Milling and Laboratory Services. And we're going to answer some common questions about dental milling. What's the average turnaround when she receives the case? Sure. Um, so for a digital file, um, the first step we do is um, we gather the information, we would download the, um, the file mm -hmm. and print out a script, create a bin, meaning that we have to determine what type of material the actual unit's going to be, be milled out of. At Apex, we carry several dis different types of zirconia because of their different types of indications mm -hmm. and, and strengths. Also, we have a choice with Emacs. So, mm -hmm. so that particular unit, when it's downloaded, we have to decide you know, which material it's, it's going to be completed in. Mm -hmm. um, then from there, uh, the file is used for design. Mm -hmm. So our designer will design the restoration. Uh, then that particular file is sent to our camming station. Mm -hmm. So at that point in time, the person camming will have to determine again and confirm the material because we have all the different choices. That uh, unit then is cammed, it's sent to our mill and then the unit is milled, which can, you know takes a variety of different times depending on um, how big the unit is or how many we're doing in that puck. It's milled, and then after that, the unit is cut out under a microscope. Um, so meaning that the unit coming out of the puck has spokes on it, so that holds the unit in place. So um, compared to my milling unit that I have in my office that has the cute little block, right. you have these pucks exactly. that can do many at one time. Exactly. And so under the microscope, yes. they take what's left out that mm -hmm. kind of like well, how we cut mm -hmm. with the sprue with our units. Yeah, exactly. So we might have, you know, 20 units milling out of one puck. Mm -hmm. So um, they have to all be cut out, the sprue has to be smoothed off, they have to be uh, re-identified back into uh, what shade they're going to be because we only center certain shades together. Um, so then after that, after the uh, unit has had its sprue removed, then it goes into our sintering furnaces where it's sintered, yep, and that, that temperature and time varies with whatever material we're using. Mm -hmm. Um, once it uh, comes out of the sintering furnace, then it is uh, taken and identified back to its original bin. Uh, the unit has been uh, is given to one of our techs where they take it under a microscope and they uh, assess the unit for any type of um, fracture. They assess the shade, make sure everything's correct. And then if we are finishing the unit to completion, then that unit will be placed on the bottle and then under a microscope all the margins will be smoothed and the contacts will be confirmed and fitted as well as the occlusion and then the crown is ready for staying in place. Thank you so much Paula for joining us today mm -hmm. and if you have any other questions then contact us at the Dental Advisor or contact Apex Dental Milling and Laboratory Services.